In part two of today's video, I'll be using custom machine soft jaws to fixture my domino pieces so I can finalize operation two and remove my completed parts. Hey guys, welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. Let's spend some time today going over the CAD CAM in Autodesk Fusion 360 to complete operation two of my Lucky 7 Domino keychains. This will include facing off the top hat, deburring the edges, and tricking Fusion into doing this 3D engraving toolpath with a small 3mm bore nose end mill. So let's jump straight into CAD and take a look at it. Okay, I've got Fusion 360 open here on my screen, and uh, let's take a quick look at how I actually uh, drew this up today. Now, of course, in the video, I'll be machining from a, a multiple set but I'd like to demonstrate to you here just how I actually did it. So simply guys, I drew a sketch on the ground plane, extruded it, and then I inserted the domino into that design. You can have a look here. Now to place the domino in the center of the job where I needed it to be, I just simply did a rigid joint. I can right click on that joint and show you how I did it. I selected the face of the joint and the face of the soft jaw I moved my part over 8mm and down 4mm and that's how I got it to sink inside there. Righto, once I did that then guys I clicked on the top sketch I inserted my DXF by coming up here and going insert DXF. Okay let's jump over into CAM and let's take a look how I'm going to uh, apply the machining strategies here today. So I've already got a setup done for you and I can regenerate that to show you. Now while it's regenerating, I might actually take you through the entire process as well and teach you how to do it for yourself. So let's create a new setup. So we come up to the top here, new setup. First thing we need to do guys is actually tell Fusion what's the model and what's the uh, fixture. So deselect here, the model will be the domino. Fixture will be these two here. Okay, for the orientation we want to pick over here, we want to put pick a selected point and I'm going to pick this back left corner here. For stock we're going to come into stock I'm going to give it no side but I'm going to give it four on the top. Click OK. Oh, there's actually one more thing we could have done in there in that setup guys come back over here. Uh, we can leave it default setting to zero which will be G54 we can actually turn it to one. So one theoretically would be G54 as well. Okay. So let's get, let's get straight into it guys. So for the point of the exercise, I'm gonna click on here and just rename this demo for you. And step one we wanna do is, uh, we wanna buzz that top hat off guys, off here. So we're gonna use a facing cycle to do that. So 2D, 2D face, come out to our tool library, pick the machine we're working with today and the current tool, click OK. There's nothing you have to do in the second tab or the third tab, but in the fourth tab, I like to give it a little pass extension of 20 mil. And in the fifth tab over here, I like to click extend before retract. So now we're gonna do a 2D contour. So 2D, 2D contour. Let's pick up our tool. And it'll be the spot drill and click okay. We're gonna pick the, ge the actual geometry where we wanna do it here today. So it's that top edge and that inside of that hole. Come to the fourth tab, we want to ensure chamfer is selected and the chamfer width and chamfer depth. Over our back here, we want to change that to conventional milling because I find I get a better finish doing it conventional. And click OK. Okay, what we need to do is this 2D engraving tool path. So we come over to 2D, 2D engrave. We're going to keep that same tool. We're going to select our profile that we want and set that one there. That's our geometry. Now in for tool heights, I'm going to trick Fusion a little bit because I'm going to edit the G code and take out the spot drill and put in my end mill. Now I have to do it this way because Fusion will not generate a tool path uh, if I use a ball nose on this application. So I'm just going to trick it myself here. So over here for from the top height, I'm going to type in 0 0.25 and then bottom height I'm just going to leave it at 2.5 and we should be right to go there. We click OK and it's generated that toolpath. 
and we'll just scroll back out a little bit here. Okay, what we need to do now, guys, um, sometimes when you engrave with a ball nose, you can leave a bit of a burr. So I'm just gonna run that face more back over again. And this is a little trick that I picked up off um, Scott and Gavin when they were helping out Vertigo Technologies in New Zealand. So we're just gonna buzz this again with the face mill. And uh, it's actually, it'll just take off any little bird that's sticking up above the top here. And Fusion knows that I wanna face with that tool. And it had already pre-selected my tool one in my carousel. And once again, I'm gonna go past extension 20 and the fourth tab, extend before retract. Click OK. Right, let's take a look at this now. We can simulate, we'll turn the stock on, and let's just zoom out a little bit here and click, away we go. Uh, let's take a look how I'm gonna post-process this today and actually edit that G-code uh, to show you how I'm gonna take out the spot drill and to add in the ball nose. So I'm just gonna post this one for you. I won't post the whole uh, tool pass. I'm gonna pick up my um, cloud post, my generic ad tech one, click OK. And up the top here, I'm just gonna edit it up here. I'm gonna call this program 01 DOM bot. So domino bottom operation, click save. Uh, Fusion will open brackets. And what we need to do here is I need to go into this engraving tool path here and change the tool number and the tool height. Now it's imperative that you do this guys. So T will become T5. Come down here and find H. H is the height offset for that tool. So I'll be tool five H5, file save, and we should be good to go. Alrighty, let's jump over to the machine and let's uh, let's knock these out today. Here at the moment, I've removed the hard jaws out of the vise and I've put in these custom machine soft jaws. Now, the way I've machined these soft jaws is that they will span across both uh, dual vise setup and I'll be able to hold nine dominoes there uh, inside that setup. Uh, attaching the dial gauge to my head and uh, jogging down to get Z0, I'm going to scroll across now and check that soft, um, that soft jaw for tram make sure it's um, parallel right across on both faces. Setting up G54 here, we're doing the Z offset, the X, Y, and there we have it there, and there's the Y offset. Now, the reason I keep coming back there is because that ball's 10 mil, and I come back in five mil and uh, set it on the ad-tech controller back to uh, move it move it manually five mil and set it. In goes the stock and tighten it up, and uh, here we go, we'll load up the G code. We'll find that program on the USB stick, there it is there, loaded into the controller. Flick over to prove that it's there, then we go back into the main menu to run it. Shut the door and uh, put her in auto and cycle start and away we'll go. First operation will be that facing operation. <coughs> Followed by the contour, the engrave, and the end face to take off any birds. All right, well, let's go and watch it.
Well, there we have it. The uh, Dominoes came out looking fantastic. And uh, let's close this video on some slow motion action. As always, guys, please like, subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. Catch you next time. Cheers.